babes. Babes. Wait till them kids in the Chevy see these babes. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my rag, my gal. Sunday you kissed my wife. Baby, my heart's on fire. Hey, a Kingdom Line review. Been a while. But with Hasbro's distribution system being what it is, some figures from not too recent lines were never seen in stores. Or hardly anybody who mattered could find them. <coughs> Anywho, one of those figures was War for Cybertron Deluxe Pipes. In Generation 1, Pipes was a repaint of Huffer. And in War for Cybertron Kingdom, Pipes is a rebuild repaint of Huffer. Portrayed as an eccentric collector who can spray corrosive fumes from the pipes on his arms. See the figure in one of the last plastic windowed boxes in existence. Art is on the side panel. And both modes are pictured on the back. There's character art on the slanty side panel. Now let's get pipes out of this box and clear his pipes. Pipes! Out of box more for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Pipes comes with his instruction booklet and two matching pipe weapon accessories for pipes. And this is pipes in his alt mode, and it is a rebuild of Huffer. It shares much of the same sculpt work. There are some differences, notably on the tires, the stacks, and the underbelly. Though the main variance is in the colors and the paintwork. While Huffer was orange and silver, Pipes is a really dark blue with silver highlights. And also his pipes and truck bed panels are white instead of silver. They changed the transparent plastic on the windshield to a kind of smoky gray. All in all, I like the color scheme better for Pipes. It gives him a more commercial hauler look than the construction site colors Huffer used. Though his Autobot badge is hidden behind the stacks, so I guess the Decepticons won't recognize him. Pipes has the same 5 milliliter ports, so you can arm him up or relocate his pipe weapons pretty much anywhere on the truck body. You can also take Huffer's cab components and plug those in. He is also compatible with the Earthrise Leader Optimus Prime trailer. Sadly, they don't seem to have done anything to improve the flaws in Huffer's alt mode. The tires don't seem to align front to back. There's an optical illusion of slantiness that's hard to ignore. And there's still an ugly gap just under the truck cab that you can see right through. And the robot hands are still just there. Even more prominent since they're a piercing white. At least on Huffer they were black and you could pretend that they blended in better. And like with Huffer, the tires just don't roll all that well if the surface has any slickness to it. Wow, look at them pipes! Pipes shares the same transformation engineering as Huffer, and the change is identical except for one added step. On the inside of the hinge where the cab connects to the shoulders in the back, they added an extra swivel joint, which you use to rotate the cab 180 degrees, then angle and clamp it down close to the back. Pipes robot mode are where the differences really stand out, especially with the colors. The blue is almost too dark, to the point that it's hard to distinguish some of the features, but it does make the white parts really jump out. The sculpting changes in the arms and the chest and on the pelvis and the head, combined with reversing the way the cab slings onto his back, does help with the illusion that Pipes is a different figure rather than a mere repaint. But like Huffer, Pipes carry some of the same issues into his robot mode. The way they use the truck bed panels as his heel spurs make the feet seem hollow and incomplete. He's still got those big, huge, empty gaps on the backs of his legs. And with Pipes, these little panels don't tab in as securely. They pop loose very easily. And while the added rotation to the truck cab was novel, it creates a new issue for Pipes in that the truck cab makes him back heavy, and he is prone to toppling over with the lightest touch. Or you can untab the heel spur slightly so that it gives a bit of a lean forward to offset his center of gravity. He has the same 5mm port set up as Huffer, so you can use his pipe weapons or equip him with any compatible accessories from the entire War for Cybertron line. Plus the new head sculpt is boss with a proper robotic faceplate. The articulation set up is the same with a rotating head. The arms fully rotate and will splay out. There is a bicep swivel bendable elbows, and the fists will tilt in and out as part of the transformation. Even with the truck cab in the way, there is still full waist rotation. 
The legs have universal joints so that they will angle forwards and backwards and splay in and out. Though there is some parts crashing. Upper thigh swivel, bendable knees that fold in on themselves, and the now expected ankle pivot. Throw in the disengagement of the heel spurs and you can say that he has toe articulation as well. So Pipes does give you good articulation possibilities. Pipes! For size comparison, here's Kingdom Deluxe Pipes. Thanks to Kingdom Deluxe Huffer. Here is War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Pipes. Next to War for Cybertron Kingdom Commander Class Rodimus Prime. And here is War for Cybertron Pipes. Next to fellow polluter Transformers Animated Deluxe Oil Slick. Pipes! The Kingdom line may be over, but you can still find some of the figures lurking in clearance stores. That includes a few of the rarer ones, which never seem to turn up at retail. And Pipes is one you may want to look out for. Positives are a new color scheme and some effective remolding. A cooler head sculpt with no robot lips. New accessories and some additional engineering which offers more options in how to display the robot mode. Negatives are that it's still a Huffer remold and if you didn't care much for that figure, then you may not be tempted by Pipes, even at a discounted price. He still has the negatives from the Huffer figure with the flimsy heel plates, hollowness at the backs of the legs and the truck cab, and that weird angling on the tires in the alt mode. It feels like his joints and tabs don't click into place as firmly as they did with Huffer, and he also feels less stable in robot mode with that backpack always dragging him off balance. But for my part, I liked his overall appearance better than Huffer, and I'll give him an identical score of 8 out of 10 deaths. Put that in your pipes and smoke it. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, old baby. Tell them more, and tell me I'm your own. <laughs>